what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice beautiful and fantastic question from olympiad that we're going to be solving and you know this question looks pretty easy but you know what we're not going to be using calculator so now let's get right to it the question says the square root of the square root of nine minus the square root of eight is what so let's write this down square root of the square root of nine minus the square root of eight very good so this can further be simplified as square root of nine is going to give you three minus what about the square root of eight well eight is not a perfect square so i can you know split eight or simplify eight to be a perfect square times two you know four is a perfect square and four times two is going to give you eight right very good very good so now we're going to have the square root of three minus now like i said four is the perfect square so what is the square root of four the square root of four will give you two and since two is not a perfect square it's going to remain inside of the square root now this expression has now been simplified to this now the next thing we're going to do is to split this three that means i'm going to be splitting this three such that i have two please take note what i'm saying i'm talking about this two inside of the square root not outside because the value outside can be any number but the value inside of the square root is what i am interested in so how can i split three such that it has two this is going to be two plus one very good so two plus one is going to give me three so that is what i need so this is a square root so two plus one gives three which is what i have here minus so write down your minus two root two now i would want this two to look exactly like this square root of two yeah so that means i'm going to be making this two a square root of two so let's do that real quick so this is going to be this two is going to be a square root of two but you know i can't just write square root of two like this you know in order to validate this what am i going to do i'm going to square this why because square can cancel out the square roots leaving behind an ordinary two just like this one very good so plus now look at this one are you seeing this one very good this one can also be squared so one square will give you the same one so nothing changed so minus now look something here this is two right mm. so when this is two I'm going to be looking at this ordinary value, which is one, not the one in the square root. I'm looking at this one here. So I can split this two to have one, but I'm going to be using the multiplication. So how, what can I multiply one to give me two? That will be two times one, right? Very good. So two times one is going to give me what? Two. That is it. That is it. So now I'm going to be writing the square root of two there square root of two very good very good so now pay attention to what is inside the bracket because we need to bring out something here now you see that this is a square root of two and it is raised to power two and this is one raised to power two and notice something this is two times one times the square root of two does this look familiar to you well if it is not let me show you this is like x squared are you saying it that means if i'm taking the square root of 2 as x so i'm saying x squared just as this one is squared plus this is like saying y squared that means i am taking one as y are you saying that very good so minus two so i'm going to be writing down the two times one what did i take y to be i took y to be what one that is it that is it then i took the square root of two to be x so 
y times x is going to give me what? x, y. That is it. Now, I ask the question again. Does this look familiar to you? Of course. This is from x minus y to the power of 2. Are you seeing that? Very good. This is a familiar expression. So that means we're going to be expressing what we have on this bracket like this in this same form. So now let's do that real quick. So I have the square root of, now watch, we said x, comparing x is the square root of 2, right? So I'm going to be writing the square root of 2 to represent x. Are you seeing that? Very good. Minus, so write minus y. What is y? y is 1. So write 1, and I'm going to be closing the bracket and at the same time raising it to the power of 2. So now what do you notice? You notice that the square and the square root will be cancelled. So leaving behind the square root of 2 minus 1 as our final answer. Well, you can see how simple this question is. Well, at first, I thought this could not be an Olympiad question. But then I look again. Well, it is an Olympia question. So how simple can this get? I believe that some of us can even guess the answer. Well, if you have learned something from this video and you enjoy this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.